Right, so these panels, as we know, they're, they're good, but they, don't, they, they never fit. They never fit. So what you've got to do is you've got to bash them and make them so they do fit. Let me show you. Right, so what we've got is we've got, if I can get the camera to focus up, what we've got is this, all this bottom edge fits correctly, but as you can see, this step that we put in here, um, it doesn't match. Uh, it needs to be deeper, like the actual panel, as you can see, it needs to be down there. It's in the wrong place anyway. Um, so what we've got to do is we've got to bash both these corners. That one's bent. We need to bash both these corners so we get this to follow the lines of the actual car itself. Right, so as you can see, it's a much better fit. It's not perfect yet, but what we can do is as we weld it in, we can bash it in a little bit. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, we've got Pore 15, which is the customer's preferred um, rust preventer. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna clean up the inside of here and here, because it's got a little bit of surface rust on, and then we're gonna give it two coats of the Pore 15.
Right, so firstly, apologies for the noise. It's absolutely bucketing it down outside. But as we've said with these panels, they never fit as they should. Now, we know this is in the right place because we've done the measurements. Um, the back doesn't look too far out, although there is a little bit of bashing to do there. But we're gonna concentrate on this front at the moment. Now, I've measured and positioned this where it needs to be. Uh, and if I show you in a minute, you'll see that all these angles are in slightly in the wrong place, even though the sill's in the right place. Right, so as you can see here, this angle needs to be tighter. What that'll do is it'll let this, ang this angle in the corner here move further over, if I can show you there. It'll move this further over here, and hence bring this up a little bit level with this. It's not gonna go all the way because this is not original. Um, we've also got on this corner, as you can see, a big gap. This needs tightening up so that it fits the profile of this a little bit there. Now, when we've got it a little bit tighter, we're then going to cut around this line and then we're going to tack this on. We're also going to do exactly the same with the other end as well. Right, so as you can see on this side, this crease, which is here at the moment, on this Sharpie line, is an absolute mile out. And you can see it's much sharper as well. It's an absolute mile out. This is where his crease needs to be, which is, as you can see, five or seven mil away from it. So we need to reposition his crease first. And this sill section actually curls around a little bit this way. So what we need to do is then put it in the shrinker and just shrink this edge to marry the profile of the original sill section.
Right, so with just a little bit of flex in here, as you can see, that profile is much better. There's a little bit of tapping need doing just about here, but all across here into that corner. There's a little bit of tapping we need to do here to level this out a little bit and just to get this corner a tiny bit tighter. But the front and the rear are now absolutely spot on. What we do need to do, as you can see here, we do need to curve this just a little bit more, tap just this in uh, when we've tack welded it. Uh, with a dolly at the other side obviously. Um, what we need to do is we need to cut the edges off and tack it in for butt welding.
Right, that's it for this video, guys. That front heater bowl is now all done and dusted, so the front end of this car is just about stitched up. Now, this sill, we have only tacked it on just so we can get the fitment correct. In the next video, we'll be taking it back off and we'll be addressing everything underneath there and getting to that floor pan, then stitching it back on and then getting to that floor pan. So if you enjoyed the video, leave us a like and smash that subscribe button. Till then, we will see you in the next one.